Sam Blackman is preparing for a long journey. One that will take him and thousands of other cyclists across Massachusetts and into the lives of cancer patients all over. We need to make sure we have enough extra tubes and... What brought him to this point, training for the Pan Mass Challenge, a nearly 200-mile annual bike ride in August to raise money for cancer research, was a journey unto itself, marked by many young, precious faces. You feel like these could be your own children. You, you can care about them that much, and, and their parents will let you care about them that much. Dr. Blackman doesn't have any kids of his own, per se, though he considers himself to have a very large family, made up of all his patients children diagnosed with cancer. Are you guys getting any sleep? Better. As a fellow in pediatric oncology at Boston's Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, Dr. Blackman delves daily into the cancer battles of children like nine-month-old Elliot. Elliot was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL, at three months and has spent much of the time since in the hospital. Up, Noah. Now, now I want you to scream. Elliot's cries are piercing and very telling of a struggle that only he fully understands. It was scary sometimes to see him getting, you know, through the chemotherapy, getting really sick and not be able to say, this is what I'm feeling, so that we could, you know, everyone could say, all right, now, you know, let's do this for him. Stephanie Carlin and her husband, David Handen, met Dr. Blackman when Elliot went into the hospital last November. Um, when Elliot came to us, he was just about the sickest child that I had ever seen with my eyes. His leukemia was so severe at the time that he was diagnosed when he was three months old that you could actually see in a tube of his blood the layer of leukemia cells by just holding the tube up to light. The first hours and days were touch and go. Elliot began intensive chemotherapy and fortunately went into remission. He has been responding well to the drugs. But ALL is a rare and aggressive form of leukemia, and Elliot is only a quarter of the way through his two-year treatment protocol. What are you doing? So his parents know it's too soon to be too optimistic. The scary news for me is that now we sort of hold our breath and hope that he stays in remission now that we're not giving him, knocking his immune system and his bone marrow down the way we have been for the last six months. They have found comfort in the community of nurses and doctors who help Elliot get through his treatments, who understand and what calms his nerves. Salt pretzels seem to work wonders. With each patient, Dr. Blackman says he learns a little more about what cancer does not only to a person's body, but to their spirit and to their family. Cancer, he says, is not an event, but a journey an entire family takes, one that is painful, taxing, and extremely challenging. You're not happy with me. He embarks on that journey with each of his patients. He has watched some lose their battles with cancer. Many more he has seen beat their disease. Fortunately, you know, the majority of children with cancer complete that journey. In honor of all his young patients, Dr. Blackman will ride in the Pan Mass Challenge this year. He's created a website, rideforthem.com, which tells the story of each child. He hopes to raise $100,000 for cancer research, which is a lofty goal considering what most people raise. The average PMC rider raises about $5,000. And if I've got 20 patients, 5,000 times 20 makes 100,000. Makes perfect sense to me. Dr. Blackman expects a struggle. He's only a cyclist by hobby, a doctor by profession, a pediatric oncologist by passion. To be able to share in the, some of the most dramatic, some of the most painful, some of the most joyous moments of people who are, would otherwise be absolute strangers to you. Uh, you know, how could you not want to do something like that? It is incredibly, incredibly addictive. Dr. Blackman says the discomfort and challenge of the 200-mile ride will pale in comparison to what his patients and their families go through after a cancer diagnosis. <coughs> Stephanie and David say their world and their perspective changed dramatically in one day. They now view an event like the PMC as more than just a good cause, but a source of hope. Yeah, I mean, everything means something different now. Um, and certainly, you know, any major fundraiser for cancer research is, uh, I think, just changed the meaning for us enormously because we hold our hopes on finding better ways to treat. <laughs>
aggressive diseases like Elliot's leukemia. He may not know it now, but Elliot is one of the reasons Dr. Blackman and thousands of others will be huffing and puffing their way across Massachusetts. The opportunity to move us closer to a cure for cancer, too great to pass up. In Boston, Anya Haneke, NECN.